And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Blue Terran in the Northeast, up against Matt Peace. Matt Peace. I'm not for sure on the enunciation of that. He is the Protoss player in the Southwest. He is red because he's angry, I guess. And, whoa, look at that APM. I have no idea what he's doing right now. Um, he doesn't want me to have fun, though. He just wished me good luck. Yeah, I always like to have fun. I am having fun because today was a good day, middle of a four-day weekend. Thanks to Thanksgiving. I love you, Thanksgiving. Um, but good lord, 180, 180 APM. And all he's got right now is a pylon and a couple extra probes. I, I, I don't know what he was doing with that APM that early. Maybe he's just, you know... Quick! Uh, 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 uh. See, I can't even do it that fast here. I, you know, I've got this this laptop mouse. It's it's not very good. But like I said, middle of a four-day weekend. Good day uh, for me. Uh, I'll explain in another video what happened. But it was awesome, and I'll have to show you guys later. Sorry, gonna gonna have to leave that a surprise. Here I go for the barracks, and oh, I hate when they do this. Don't, don't, don't harass my little worker. And of course, you know, they only do it to Terrans, because this is the only, the only race that you can do that to. So, I send a, a, a second SUV out to kill him, and there he goes. It should be enough to at least get him out of there. Am I gonna? Oh, and he circles back around and kills my builder on the barracks, which completely stops him from building. Ah, oh, I hate that. So his gateway will be going up before my barracks is done. He hasn't been chrono boosting. I don't know if he's saving it. Um, maybe he used it just once. Uh, perhaps he's going to save it for the cybernetics core. He did select it right there. No chrono boost. Not yet. He might be saving it for the warp gate technology. I do not know. Uh, but I am undeterred. That barracks going up late doesn't uh, change my strategy that much. Just make another SCV, build a barracks, get another barracks, and a supply depot because now I have a lot of minerals. So, command center being morphed into a normal command a little late, but that's okay because I was forced to make it late. Cybernetics core is now up. He did. It looks like he did save it for the warp gate because he still has two chrono boosts or one left after this one finishes. Uh, that that research does take a long time. Um, I, I don't play Protoss very much, uh, so I don't know how crucial warp gate technology is early in the game. But everybody that I have played seems to love it because they go for it almost off the bat. You know, almost as fast as I go for a stim pack, you know? They go for it as soon as possible. So, uh, let me know if you guys play Protoss. Have you tried a game without getting um, the, war the warp gates? Have you tried just sticking with a gateway? I mean, that seems to be what Terran players do. You, you know what I mean? Does it go out faster? How much... A, a Zealot takes 38 seconds. A uh, stalker takes 42 seconds. I don't know the cooldown on a warp gate. I will check it once it changes to a warp gate. But, you know, is it... Is it that big of a difference? Could it be, you know, up to five seconds? I, you know, I honestly, I don't know. Four gate. Up for uh, Matt. I'm just going to call him Matt. And I have completely supply locked myself. So uh, I have mass build uh, three supply depots to see what I can do to speed that up. So let's see. Cooldown, 28 seconds. So there you go. Um, 32, 32. So it's about, it's 10 seconds faster. Fair enough. I, I will give you that. 10 seconds faster on building units. Um, so there you go two sentries and two stalkers out for Matt um, as opposed or sorry one sentry two stalkers I don't know if I said that right the first time as opposed to my three marines and two marauders so I should have the lead here even though 
Yes, I do have a... No, I'm sorry, that's not me. I was red last game. Uh, he has a lead because those uh, sentries are so gas-heavy, and he just got those uh, zealots out. Uh, no upgrades yet on any of my units, um, but I have spent quite a bit on technology. He has spent more on... Uh... Wow, he's outspending me. Uh, is he... Yeah, that's why he's got so much... Uh, so much better saturation on his minerals, even over saturation there. Um, there you go. That's 24, 3, and 3. That's what the game tells you to do. 3 per minimal patch. But look at all that wasted movement with those probes. I don't buy it. Now he's now he's got a 25th out there. Oh, 26th. So, um, yeah, no, I, I'm not buying it. Uh, 21, 22 seems to be good enough. Um, perhaps three per mineral patch is uh, what the game intended, but it just doesn't work practically. And here he goes straight into my base one by one. He did not stop outside the base uh, like he should have to group them back up. A good force field down there, and another garden shield. There we go. He completes the block off. These guys can no longer attack, except for that one zealot right there. Uh, force, first field, force field goes down, and he's forced to run away. I chased that sentry down because I did slow him down. And a proxy pylon up for Matt. So we are going to be seeing a similar strategy to what we saw last game. Um, we are going to be seeing, it looks like a 4-gate with a proxy pylon for reinforcements. That's, a, that's an effective strategy, but unfortunately it did not work last time, and it does not look like it's going to work this time, but I can't remember if I won this game or not. Well, I probably could if I'd thought about it hard enough, but I'm focused on this. He still has the lead in the harvester count. I do have more minerals, uh, but that's because of the mules. Uh, he has lost more resources than I have by a lot, and he's been spending on the army to make up for it. And as a result, I've taken the lead in the economy and the technology. Looking at his APM, he is completely outclassing me, let's be honest. Uh, I am not one for APM. Uh, you, you guys probably laugh every time I bring this screen up, but if I win, I don't really care what my APM is. Um, you know, if I win the game, yeah, I would like to get uh, to improve it later on, but as for right now, with this setup, this is pretty much what you're going to be seeing from me from now on. And here comes a probe. And as soon as I see that probe, I'm like, uh, okay, there has to be something up here. So I send a couple marines just to check it out. While I'm continually producing, I did finish almost all the upgrades. No combat shield yet. Uh, doesn't look like I've remembered to go back and get that. Unless they do have it and I can't see it now. They would show it. Uh, concussive shells, stim pack. No expansion for him, so I'm not too worried. But I do know that that means he's going to have an army. And those zealots are completely out of place. Now, n as soon as those zealots come down, then I can attack them. So I just uh, micro my guys back. As he does the same. Uh, I did waste a stim pack thanks to that. But as now he's trying to attack past his own force field. It does not work. And here, uh, that should prove the end of the force fields. No, he does keep two more marauders out, but these guys are giving him sight, and those are a lot of stalkers. They should easily wipe me out. His APM is off the charts, but as you can see, he's not producing anything like I am. But a Colossus is now on the way. 